Hello, welcome back to Waiheke Media Teacher. Um, I just wanted to do a quick screencast of a, a brand new site that I just discovered literally like a couple of days ago by chance. It's called Tiny Cards, and I thought it would be a good one to do on the back of an earlier tutorial that I did on uh, the flashcard system called uh, Quizlet. Now, Tiny Cards is kind of like a real stripped down version of Quizlet and it it looks really nice. I've actually um, been using it myself to uh, sort of help me on my journey on to learning Te Reo Māori um, because I found that there's a bunch of, um, they call their sets of uh, cards decks and I found there's a bunch of decks uh, on Te Reo Māori including this uh, book here, Māori Made Easy, which is a book that I actually own myself and um, I've been having a go at it and it's a really nice, simple, kind of addictive uh, flashcard system and a way of studying sets of cards. So I'm going to jump right into just to sort of show you how, how it looks. I'm looking at it right now on the Chrome web browser, but it also has a, a very nice app which uh, performs pretty much exactly the same functions. So I'm going to um, fire up one of the decks that I've been looking at here. Um, there's a whole bunch of uh, decks on this, um, or card yeah, card decks on this set, and it kind of unlocks them as, as it goes up here. You can see that there's a, a total of 140 uh, cards that you can you, that you can utilize in, in this particular deck, but they've got it broken down into lessons, and so I'm just going to uh, run through one that I've already been doing. So here's pretty much how it looks uh, when you see it, and the keyboard commands are pretty good as well. Uh, this one is, is it, when you first are exposed to a set, it just goes through a little series of flipping cards and learning the words, and then it kind of jumps into this uh, quiz um, thing right away. Um, so this, I currently, because I've already studied a little bit of the set, it's jumped straight into the quiz. Maybe I'll go back and do one that I haven't done. I'll just quit that one. Here's one. Okay, see, so, punga wede wede, and then I'm going to, I'm just going to use the keyboard right now because it's actually really handy to use the keyboard. Space flips the card, and then enter continues on. So that punga wede wede is spider, and I'm going to continue. Waka re re rangi is plane. Um, and now I've even just gone through two cards I've already presented with like a little kind of a quiz thing. You can completely use the keyboard for this as well. I've got numbers there or you can use the mouse. So I know this is number one. Little oral indicator that you've got it. Fare rongoa. That's the new one. Is the chemist. Hit enter. Fare kai. It's a name for a word for a restaurant. And then a little test. So plane is number two. Fare rongoa. I remember it was the chemist. Rao, ah, uh, leaf. So, fare kai. Now I'm sort of getting, you know, interspersing with learning new words and getting little quizzes as I go through. And I also have these, um, these type in kind of um, cards. And, uh, you know, if you don't know, I think this is uh, Pungawere. Okay. Oh, I got that one right. Um, but if you don't know, you can skip. So I don't know. It'll tell you. And um, restaurant was Fare Kai. So you basically go through until uh, you get this sort of progress bar um, reaches the end. And um, as you sort of have completed that set, uh, you'll move on to the next set. Now, I haven't actually made uh, any sets myself, but I have looked at it, and it looks pretty easy. Uh, similar to Quizlet, you've got a front and a back side of your cards. Um, in the front, you can type in um, the word and possibly have the definition in the back. Um, or you see here, you can also add an image, and you can do a search on the web, or you can choose from uh, a library on your computer. Um, also with this function here, you can, um, it looks like you can do some drawing. So um, you could draw something on your card or possibly even use it to, you know, as a, as to, to make an arrow on top of something. So it looks pretty easy to um, create cards. I had a little look under the, some of the settings and you can make your card deck visible to everyone, uh, people with a private link. 
you've got this audio feature, which I haven't tested out um, at the moment, but it looks like you can have it speak possibly like Quizit. Oh, in, a different, in multiple languages, the front of the card, the back of the card. And you can quiz learners on both sides or the front only or the back only. And that, that, that can be quite a handy, um, as well as disabling or enabling the questions where you have to type in the answer and also allowing sort of a certain amount of um, typos in the responses. Um, like I said, the, uh, the app version that I've got on my Android phone is great, pretty much exactly the same functionality. I've had a fun time uh, just sort of picking it up and quickly going through some of um, Tadeo cards that I've been studying. And uh, yeah, I'm actually um, pretty impressed with Tiny Cards. I think it's kind of a, you know, a simplified version of uh, Quizlet with some really lovely features and a really simple interface. It could, could be uh, one of my uh, new go-tos um, for teaching um, as well as my own learning. Um, it has a search function, so if you're looking for a set that's um, already, someone might have already made sets that are appropriate for you, you can just do a search and you can pin those sets to your profile and share them with other people. So definitely worth, worth a look. I think uh, the address is uh, HTTPS Tiny Cards dot duolingo.com i'll put a link of that for that down in the uh, description um yep yeah, give it a go if you like this tutorial make sure you please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh give it a like thanks and we'll catch you next time kia kaha